Bro Williams. Sorry, now. Uh, Bro Williams. Okay. I'm a member of this Free Nation. Yes, sir. Uh, I've been following the gospel, I think, early last year. So okay. I think it's a high time for us to begin to know ourselves so that we can, you know, identify our brothers and sisters maybe on the road when we see them on the street. We we'll, we'll know them. Mm -hmm. I know when I was a member of a full gospel businessman, we have one logo. No, when you put it in your shell, maybe when you're going to work, you can easily see your member. You say, oh, brother, how are you then? Mm. You know you. So I believe it's the high time. Let's not just be coming here and, you know, all this kind of stuff. We need to Brother Chris, work there for you. Let me say, you have to yeah. gather everybody's number. I think I, I forget the numbers one by one. I have a number too. I have everybody's yeah. number here. Brother Shupo, you have work. Oh. <laughs> you have work, yes. <laughs> I think you're going to deputize with Brother Chris. No problem. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll have a team of our most dedicated men, and that is Brother uh, Chris. It's our wisdom. Brother Wisdom here. He's always with us, always ready to help. And uh, Brother Williams. So they would um, discuss with the brothers, keep in touch, and and do all that uh, you are from Ikoroduma yes, uh, how are you doing I've been following this you've been following us for a while I think you've come before yes, yes I remember so I'll be one of the loyalists okay <laughs> we also are going to gather for our women too uh, and also for our children Chidima don't forget to learn the truth about Christ and teach the truth about Christ. Uh, it's Christ is love. He is not a money doubler. He doesn't find husbands for women. When we're outside, I was outside with the mom. Some people were sharing flyers. So I picked up one of the flyers. I don't know if I have it here. It says, uh, you saw the flyer. And uh, they said, I will find my husband this year. If, <laughs> if Christ did not find husband for Mary, and he did not find husband for Martha, the two closest women to him, he is now going to come to Ikorodu or to Lekki to find husbands. That's not the mission of Christ. Do you understand? If you, now, here's the thing. They said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added. If you seek the love of Christ, Husband will see you. Yes. yes. It's your virtue. Husband will see you. It's automatic. Money will locate you. Because you see somebody giving out, somebody giving out. They say, okay, come. How come you don't have a car? And you're always giving out. You're always running around. You're always doing. I don't need. I never sent Brother Chris on any message. He just took it upon himself. Anytime you call this person, check this person up. Go to that person's house. So when you start seeing him, before you know it, he will empower himself. It comes out of service. So, where he's doing something, where he's doing somebody say, ah, this brother has been working for Free Nation for years, still entering transport, take this to Kumbo. Sure. Or, yes. take this money, start this factory, yes. so you can buy yourself a car. Husbands will come. It's not the church's business to find husband for anybody. Yes. It's not the church's business to find admission for anybody. If you do the will of God, and you seek his kingdom. This kingdom, this earth that we are on has a kingdom. Yeah, kingdom. And now Satan, they rule them. So if you are praying to God while still in Satan's kingdom, <laughs> things are hard. Because God himself handed it over to him. And there's some things that will happen. If you study the book of Revelation, you notice that some things have to come to pass. And those things have not yet come to pass. Christ's age is the age to come. Of course, he can bless you in this age. But the scripture is clear. Seek his kingdom. And then everything else will be added unto you. But in Nigeria, we are adding everything else. As we know fit, seek the kingdom. Let's start with marriage. Let's start with making money. Let's start with material things. Do you understand? Because our pastors are not giving us the truth. We yes. know. The, the Bible said that the prayer of a sinner is abomination before God. It's an abomination. And you're, you're still living in sin. Same. You're praying to God. God. You're, if you like sow seed as much, your prayer is not answered. Mm. God, it's only a prayer it's of a so, righteous man. It's so, it's as, as, yeah, it's so yeah. heartbreaking because I was with uh, some few ladies. One of them was celebrating their birthday yesterday. And they were talking in the car while we were driving along. And 
their mindset was off it. I was like, okay, you want to be in a relationship with somebody. Don't ever think about money. Because if it's the money, if that money goes, you will leave that person in the yes, no. they, One of them I said, what are we looking for? There's no love. It's only money. He better not ha stop having that money. I was like, ah. The church has missed it all. Totally. And it's the teaching of the church that makes people think like that. Because all of them had the same mindset and they were Christians. They go to a particular church. I don't want to talk about the name. And they said it's only about, he has to have money. If he doesn't have money, why would he? Because even in the church, if you don't have money, you won't. Nobody knows you. And the protocol is too much. If you are not there, you are not just there. I was in a contact shopping complex about. Five days ago, um, people comes to preach for me uh, from Crescent Basin. Uh, when he start preaching, he give me a pump pump. I see she hold it. I now ask the lady question: If you, your neighbor child is sick and you have twenty thousand naira, and that money is mainly to pay tithe and offering mm -hmm. on Sunday, will you run out to bring that twenty thousand to save that child's life? The other one said no. How can I give my tithe to a child that uh, is sick? So, uh, uh, I don't say, I'm sorry, I don't want to listen to your preaching any longer. Please, I'm sorry, I move out. That was uh, what wow. I just told her. So, how can you put tithe and offer and your neighbor and child is dying. sick? He's dying. You cannot wow. use that money for your hospital, no. hospitality. So I was very tired. I didn't want to listen to them again. I just leave. Mm. It's what they taught us. If church has problems, pastors has problems, they will go to the congregation and talk. But when the congregation has problems, they will go to God. So how are we going to cope now? When the pastor is moving around, he moves with bulletproof. Then he will give you handband to wear for protection. Why you not wear the handband for a motor? When I was with Asun, the rock. I, I work in benevolent department in us on the rock. My son, this you my know, son. You've seen him before. Yes. You also work there. I work yeah, in benevolent wow. department. I was in sir. Security sir, department when is my son sick? Before God a man, I went there. I was crying. I was weeping on Sunday. Everybody saw my son. I was begging the pastors, please. I didn't see Paul, Paul and the Pharisee. I was begging the junior pastor, please help my son to just pray. That's all. I was so confused. Sir, they didn't help me. I was so you are not even a floor member. You are a proper church member. I work, I work in benevolent department, sir. I'm not. Sir, I'm not like, finding the rock and the spiritual, spiritual authority. Uh, I was so surprised. So you went through that. Yeah. If you don't have that, you don't have that. 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 You don't have Came to be and preach for me. That's when I started 98, 1998. I started as on the rock when he was in museum center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. they can't help me because I don't have money. Just 1998, I started. Yeah, I lived my life to Christ there. I was wow. in, I don't know anybody in Lagos when I came to Lagos. Us. You understand? Yes, I didn't know anybody, but I but sir, I trust in God that God always stand by me. I did not, even though there was nobody in the church helping me, I, I, sometimes I walk in the cell, I'm crying to God, God, if he disgraced me, I would never serve you again. Yeah. God, if he disgraced so me, I would never so serve you so again. So Don't disgrace yeah. me, God. I go bring help out. Which is you to help me out? I would like to see you. I'm telling the truth. I know God does not disappoint me in my lifetime. I'm just like an orphanage. I didn't even believe that I can marry, I can have children. I you came from an orphanage? Yeah, I'm an orphanage before God and man. Nobody got wow. me in my life. I lost my father in 1987. I came to Lagos without nobody. But I trust in God that God ever see me through and God see me through up to date. Mm -hmm. I would like God. God always stand by me. Whatever I have, I went to maritime industry. I went to maritime school. I finished my maritime school. I started working in maritime. 
It's because of this child that sacked me from job. I walk with Sentry. Yeah, yeah, in Lake Emirati, we. That's where I walk. We can't get there. That holds a Sentry. That's where I walk. That's the last place I walk. Mm. Sir. So God never lied to me. God brought you to help me. So I so much, I love you more than anything apart from God. It's God you I love, love you. God. I can't, it's not I can't, me. I, can't, I love <laughs> you. It's not me. I can't can love, love you. He can love you yeah, because yeah, you are the God. You know how many people that have yes. 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 the God, but they yes. never yes. used to it. Yes. 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 All these pastors yes. have been doing like this. Uh uh. No, we will not be here. Yeah, be here. I'll, I'll be struggling to gather here. people. Seriously. Seriously. I'll be struggling. They're going to be sharing rice. Yes. Where do we see them? <laughs> That's the thing. You understand? Go there with car. Come out. The pastor will shake people, take picture. Give them. Then the real people in the church are, 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 are suffering. They are suffering. Same thing happened to me too. That's, that's why well, my old was not really it was I lost my father some years ago and I was watching my boy redeem redeem at Ajade. I was a worker obviously, you know. I was a drama department. I was trying to join the OSHA. They were like I should join the workers training and rebaptize. I'm like I've been baptized since 2000 or there, but while I was still in secondary school. Say, where's your certificate? I said I lost it. So you have to rebaptize again. So your baptism is not spiritual again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to rebaptize. I'm like, is it biblical to baptize twice? twice you have to again. baptize since you rebaptize since you don't have it. I said, okay, fine. I went through the uh, workers' oh, journey. You know, while in the process, you know, my father had died anyway. I said, okay, we fixed the burial. I said, okay. They were like, back then, if you want to. I have to be a member of this church because we many you have to belong to a house fellowship group so we can know you. Fine, I was part of the house fellowship group, you know. So what I needed, I said, okay, let me go and ask for funds since I needed some money to at least for the burial. Yeah, that's yeah. why. You know, I went to the house fellowship leader. He said, okay. He said, okay, go to the pastor, go and say, go and tell him your problem. He said, should I go to the pastor? He said, don't go to the pastor, go to the assistant. Don't go to him. I said, okay. I went to the assistant. He said, okay, go and bring your house fellowship leader. I'm like. The leader herself, she's a woman. She has never been there for the past six months. I've been attending the fellowship. It's like, why? I said, not just me. Some people that have been there before me, they've never met her before. So the assistant that comes, say, okay, go and bring assistant. I went to the assistant. He said, okay, first, before I go, let me give you her number so you call her. Since they wanted her first. I call her. She's like, what do you want? I told her, the pastor wants to see you. For what? I talked to her on phone. He said, okay. No, it's the phone actually hung up. I called her back. I said, okay, I'll be in Sunday in church. Maybe we need to see him in person before meeting the pastor or something. I'll call him in church. After church service, I called her. She didn't pick my call all through. And I'm like, is it because of money or what? I ignored it. I didn't go again. I just, to hell with it. Three weeks after, the assistant house leader was like, did you go to see, did you get the leader to go and see the pastor? I'm like, she refused. So I'm just, I just ignored the whole thing. I was sought for money. On my way. It's like, go and meet the pastor and tell him what happened. I went to him. He said, okay, go and bring the assistant. I brought the assistant. He said, okay, do you know this young man? He said, yes, he attends the house fellowship. He said, okay, take him to the welfare department. We went there together. The pastor there said, okay, uh, young man, um, actually, I just got this post. The church has not really told me okay. that we've assigned money for people that want to bury their late parents or for burial or whatsoever. But I'm going to talk to the church department, the elders, and see what we can do. I'm like, actually, I want to travel. This was on Sunday. I want to travel on Thursday, on Friday. He said, okay, come to church on Tuesday. I'll get back to you. He got my number. I came to on Tuesday. It's like, I've not spoken to the elders yet. Come back on Thursday. I went back on Thursday. It's like, young man, I do, I've not spoken to them. But I don't think there is something for that. But just travel, I'll call you. <laughs> I, just a problem. <coughs> I traveled. While I was there, I called him. He didn't pick my call. I called him. eventually pick his like story <sighs> I don't know what to tell you again, but there's nothing available. There's nothing to tell you again. But just do what you can do when you come back, we'll sort you out. I didn't call him again. That was the end. I go back, I stop attending that church till dates. <laughs> I didn't know again. So I'm like, people, it's a waste so of time. Like, <laughs> it's a waste like, of time. Sunday like Adelaide in Ukraine. <laughs> yes. He's doing the same job you're doing. Yes. Sunday like Adelaide doesn't have a house of his own. Mm. Each time he comes to Nigeria, I go to visit him. When he was preaching, 
in um he's actually in garden, li in, in garden lights assembly, assembly. yeah yeah paula de Francie, samamaga all the top top men pastors they stood up they were crying he was asking them you are living what you know, every all the street is church, church 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 in nigeria then you are pretty you are living in a glass house have you picked somebody that will stay in the Dutch house to raise him up you put open church, 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 church. There was all of them. All the pastors stood up. They were shaking. Some people were crying when the man was preaching to them about men of God here in Nigeria. Look at that. He doesn't have a house of his own. And he doesn't have a money of his own. He said it. He helped the souls in Ukraine there. He's mm. one of the people they pick in Ukraine. Whenever they are doing whatever in government, he is it? I say you know about it. I couldn't. Uh, you yeah. know everything. Yeah. He's, the panel. He was. He will. He will. He will. He will like to make a comment. And what everybody he makes, that's what Ukraine takes. He's a Nigerian man. I know him very yeah. well. We've had many sessions together. Thank you, sir. We've yeah. had many sessions yeah. together. You watched. Yeah, I watched. Yeah, just, just the kind of men, done sir. Five bring, sessions. Sir, yeah. those yeah. the kind yeah. of men like you. I love to shit with. Because they speak the truth. The truth is yes. bitter. Yeah, exactly. Just like you. And nobody wants you to hear the truth. Mean? Nobody wants to hear the yes. truth. Yes. Nobody. nobody wants to hear the truth. No time he comes to Nigeria, I don't go to whatever he's doing. You know, except I don't know. But I know the revelation the revolution has started. Yeah, yes, it has. Yeah. Which one, they cannot which one stop revolution? It That's spiritual revolution. They cannot physical. stop it at they all. They can't stop it now. I told them. Even if spiritual they like revolution. block everybody's <laughs> account, yes. we will still say our voice. Oh. Yes. God. <laughs> Even my mother, she's a, she's a female pastor, a reverend actually. I've been preaching to her about where she's like, so what, but what do you know? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's the thing. thing. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. like, uh, she that's came to Lagos uh, three days ago to mm. stay with me and um, went to do morning devotion. And she's like, she was, she was singing this uh, chorus uh, that has uh, this house that song that has Allah has God something yeah. something. And she mistakenly said Allah, now she went to Yesu. I'm like, Allah, I was singing Allah, now go the Allah. Yeah, That's his song. She was, she was she changed to Yesu. I was still singing Allah. She was like, come on, Allah is the Muslim God, Yesu is a Christian God. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, Allah like is God, it's general thing. Let it's me just... tell you, uh, the language Christ spoke when he was alive is Aramaic. 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 God in Aramaic is Allah. Mm. When Christ called God, the word he used was Allah while he left, while he lived on earth before the death and resurrection. So, where they get all these their doctrines from? Where they go and dig it out of? It's only God that knows who. And it's like a whole, you see, we missed, our parents missed it. We missed it. We cannot allow our children to miss it. This little lady here she goes to school and comes out her job will also be to make sure another person goes to school oh, yes. Yes. you don't have to come to me to know that yes. it is your duty to also contribute for another person who cannot afford to go to school exactly. the money listen the money we spend paying tight in churches if each of us dedicated that tight money to educating one child in a year. We will not have poverty in Nigeria. Exactly. Right. We will not have poverty. If we dedicated it to paying hospital bills for children, we will not have poverty. But instead, we are buying Jiwagon for people that already have money. Do you know that I met AY? I met AY in, in this compound. Yes. I was coming, I went to see one of my godmother. I was coming out, he carried me with his jewel. I was trying to explain what my son is passing through. He gave me his number, he gave me his number to call him. And, um, but till today, AY has not done anything. Mm, you know, AY is a good he's guy, he's a celeb. Yeah. We cannot blame our celebs yeah. when we have not blamed our pastors. 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 You understand? Yeah. AY money, yeah. money where AY they spend. Yeah. Now, money of the joke where they crack, the show where they do. Do you understand? Yes. He does not collect tight and offering. Yeah, that is free money. money. Is, do you understand? Free and tight now. But what, what, they, I, I, I shouldn't have come here. Yeah. Yes. But because he promised me. He promised me. Do you know what? He have a I do. I don't even know you by. I don't even know Free Nation. Do you know that I do not know Free Nation? 
So how did you now come? That was a jazz. Here's the question now. Wait, 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 somebody. If I gave you that money, you will not come here. You will not come here. That's what I'm saying. Sir, do you know what? I'll get to know you. How? Somebody told me that I should meet one man in Kulepem named by Daddy Daddy Freeze. I said, how will I know the man? How does he look like? Wow. He did not tell me how you look like. I I try press 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 and I come to collect him. Do you know where I I saw the number of um, the car? Yes. Yeah, no, a, a, a car. The right uh, cool oh, okay. I called the driver. Please, I'm sorry. At Southfield, please, sorry you. Uh, I know I don't know you. This is my first time. I have a problem. My son is very very sick. So somebody direct me to meet one man in Cool FM, named by Daddy Freeze. Daddy Freeze. So I said, please, can you help me to find the man? You know, I say, okay, the, the man is a half caste. <laughs> He's tall, a little bit tall. Yeah. That by seven, before seven or nine, he, keeps, he, he comes in to do one or two things in the office. And by 10 o'clock, he will be out. That's why. And you passed me. I didn't know that you were the one, sir. Mm -hmm. You came and packed your car. And you passed inside. I didn't know. I didn't know I was out. I, can, I get to ask somebody. Please, do you know who is the Man, daddy? Please. please, please don't be. He said, he just went inside now. That's the man that just went inside now. I said, ah, if you just sleep here today, I will sleep. Yeah, yeah, I will sleep. sleep. Yeah. Yeah. That's when you came out that day. I was just begging you. Mm. you know, I beg you that, please, if you help my son, please. And God, I so much thank God. And God used you to help my son. I yeah. so much he has done his surgery. The surgery yeah. was successful. Yes. But he now needs the chemotherapy, yeah. which we are still raising money for, which I believe, I will finish by it. the grace of God, by this week, we shall sort you out. Um, the lady who promised she was going to help uh, Chidima is Evelyn. She's someone I'm very close to. She's someone I can put a call through to to ask how far. But do not worry. If Evelyn says she will do something, she will do it. Uh, Solomon. Solomon, Abby. Solomon. We're also going to sort you out. Just relax. Let's just hope. You know, many of our members are abroad. So when an abroad person says he will give you money, you have to give them like one week, two weeks. Because it's not like Nigeria where they have plenty disposable. Do you understand? They plan. Abroad people now planning that they do. They even call me, two people call me from abroad now. Yes. Uh, but I forgot to yeah. tell when I was in the hospital. Oh, okay. They were telling me that they cannot send it to Skybank. Yeah. So later she now called me back again. They have changed the Skybank to so bad yeah. that she can Polaris. send it. Yes, yes. 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 Yeah, two people call me, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So thank you very much, everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was a lovely free nation meeting. I just want to show everyone who has been around. Ugo Chuku, Brother Wisdom, Brother Williams, of course, Brother Christian. I don't know if you forget him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Auntie, what's your Chidima. name? Chidima. Auntie Chidima. Ah, oh, we have two Chidima. <laughs> Yellow Chidima and black Chidima. <laughs> Small Chidima and big Chidima. <laughs> and of course, Amarachi, who is always... Hi, <laughs> and my beautiful this one Daniela my head, Daniela. <laughs> hides more than even a Marachi. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so thank much. You so much. Yeah. All right, we're done with service and uh, on our way home, Brother Chris is right here. And you see him clearly. Yes. So he went to visit Joy and Omotai, or the two ladies who needed our help. So, Brother Chris, please give us the feedback. Yeah, I went to Aja and Debe yesterday. My first place was with Joy. I met her with her, her husband. This was terrible. The woman from pregnant, no foam. No pillow, on the ground, they are sleeping. They are, as in, so as what? In pregnant, I'm telling you. With belly? With belly, on the floor. No pillow, on, mm. the, on top of carton. And where they are living in, it's on the, um, they use the thing to cover the place. Even if the rain is falling, it will be between them inside their house. So after speaking with them, it's so like I will go back and they disrupt my brother. So when mm. I saw her, I myself, I'm not happy about it. So, mm. 
that's the first one. The second one was that when I went to Ekpe to meet a motala, a motala, and I met her. She gave me her own hotel and uh, she told me she became pregnant. And the husband said, you know, because she should go and she should go and uh, do the pregnancy. Mm. She refused. That was why the man left the house. Put everything in the house. They left the house since then. When she gave birth to the baby, the man not even care. So that was what I discovered when I went to that place yesterday. So if your brothers can be able to be any help to help them. Okay, so um, that's the report of um, the two ladies who need our help. They are in dire condition. Please consider them. Uh, the scriptures are very clear. Homeless, naked, hungry. We are meant to take care of them. Ah, so this is the family of... You can talk. What's your name? Huh? My name is Chinelie. Yeah, okay. These are That's all the kids. <laughs> okay. Guys, I'm also. Chidema. Okay. Chidema. What's your own name? Praise. What's your own name? Zion. You too, go. Oh, yeah, come and dress. <laughs> come and join now. Huh? You want to dress or you don't have to dress now. Nah. This one that you're wearing. <laughs> Zion. Hello. So, what's your own name? What's Chima. Chima. You go. Chima. Chima, yeah. Chinecherim. Are you called? Samson. Samson. Ah, you're a strong man. Eh? <laughs> you, are the, you are the daddy of the house now, Abby. Yes. Take good care of them. God will be with you guys. Eh? In Jesus' name. Amen. It is well with you. Eh? Thank you very much. Mm. So, hope to see you again next week. By the grace of the Almighty God, the Lord of Heaven's armies, take care of yourselves. <laughs>